What's up, crew? What they do? It's Lit. Angie. And we're back with another Vlogmas Day oh, 11. <laughs> Try anything you want, girl. You can get it, baby. Girl, you elevate me. You the one I brag about. You the only reason that the bag is out. Remember, we used to kick it at your mama's house. Who you know? Yeah, they held you close, but they saw the future way before. You the one I prayed for. Today we're going to talk to you guys about how we feel about she is Michaela. That's the YouTube name. Mm -hmm. But yeah, her name is Michaela. And Next Nate's life. life. Breakup. And the things that she is Michaela has been doing. So <laughs> um we started watching them as a couple like some months back. And they do a lot of pranks. Yeah. Well, he did a lot of pranks on her. And they were really, really mean. Like, the pranks that he would do on her was really, really mean. Mm -hmm. And, like, the way that she would respond to the pranks made me feel like he was that mean outside of the pranks. Yeah, like, he really acted like that. Yeah, because she would, like, cry and stuff. And, I mean... I know, like, some people on YouTube, like, they make stuff up, but, like, they make up, I mean, they don't make stuff up, but they act, like, they plan out their pranks and stuff, mm -hmm. and they already know how they're gonna react, but Michaela, she has her separate YouTube channel where she talks about, like, all of her anxiety and her depression, so, like, I already know, like, the way that she was acting was really how she felt, like, he hurt her feelings a lot. Yeah and stuff you could tell yeah so for her to believe that the things that he was saying was like true and like how she would react was as if she believed it made me feel like she was things were like that outside of their videos mm -hmm. because if they weren't she wouldn't have reacted like that if you guys get what i'm saying like if nate wasn't really like the way he was within the pranks outside of the pranks then she wouldn't react like that in the pranks yeah there we go with the explanation <laughs> that was a lot uh -huh. but yeah so i am glad that they broke up you glad they broke up mm -hmm. it's just insane, right? it's, yeah she she just seemed like upset all the time and she seemed like she had to like be a certain way for him kind of I don't know, but yeah. So now that they're broken up, she's been like hanging out with her best friend. What's his name? What's his name? What's his YouTube name? Is what every Wednesday morning? Every Wednesday family. Every Wednesday family, yeah. Every Wednesday family. That's his YouTube channel name. And Michaela, like. She moved in with him, like, like, the week or two weeks after she moved away from Nate. Like, she went back to her home. Okay, so they were in Houston, right? Were they in Houston? Yeah, they were in Houston. They were in Houston. Her and Nate were in Houston. And then she lived in California, California. with her parents. Yeah. And then she moved to Vegas. Las Vegas. Yeah, Vegas yeah. with her best friend. Like, so the first week she moved back to California with her parents, and then like the second week she moved to Vegas with him. And I felt like she kind of moved way too fast. Yeah, but if you guys way too fast. don't know um, about Michaela and Nate's relationship, she moved in with Nate the first week that she met him. She said the first day. First day? Yeah, first day. That's crazy. So I feel like in general, she just got a lot going on and she moved too fast in general. <coughs> but by the way, her and her best friend's videos are like, he seemed like he's super excited that she's living with him. Mm -hmm. And first of all, where did this best friend come from? Because we had heard about him till her and Nate broke up. Like, we knew Nate had a best friend that was a female. And she had a boyfriend, and they would, like, do videos together. 
But we never knew Michaela had a guy best friend. So where did he come from? Confused about that. And with their videos, like he seems like he's super excited. Like I said, yeah, he'd, that he'd be real hype. That Michaela is living with him. Mm -hmm. Um, what they be doing? They be going to the gym together. You know, like. Eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner together is what it seems like. Uh -huh. Dressing the same. Oh yeah, and another video. Oh, some for some reason she didn't know how to drive. She like twenty five, and she never learned how to drive. I probably because of her anxiety. But um, her best friend that she's she was living with did a video on teaching her how to drive, and they're both dressed in black and white stripes. Yeah. And I just thought that they couldn't have not did that on purpose so it, might, it just might have been for the video to get y'all attention i don't know it got my attention yeah but um yeah i feel like he likes her definitely like with his teaching her how to drive video he's super patient he's telling her that she's doing an excellent job mm -hmm. she it's lets like, her he's like uh putting his hand on her chest and stuff yeah like telling her it's okay like calm down because of course she's nervous she's learning how to drive because she, for some reason she don't know how to but um yeah his hand is like all on her like i guess feeling her heartbeat telling her to calm down and stuff mm -hmm. who does that if they don't like you he's just trying to touch her is what <laughs> i'm getting from him and um but he is very pleasant to her and i was reading some of the comments and people definitely thinks that they like each other he definitely likes her and yeah. um but the latest news is that she moved back i guess with her parents because she's been really sick and she felt like her best friend was taking care of her like way too much yeah but it's not his responsibility because he's just the best friend but we feel like That's she... That's why she moved because she didn't want to get too attached to him. I yeah, think. and she was probably, like, catching some feelings and stuff, like, way too fast. And uh -huh. probably just felt crazy because it is way too fast because it hasn't even been, like, a month yet that she's been away from, like, her and Nate's house. And this guy's just treating her way better than Nate ever did, at least on camera. So she was probably feeling that energy mm -hmm. and just don't know how to act and she probably just scared so she moved mm -hmm. back I don't know we gonna see if she moved back to his house she might she said she was like they were looking for houses over there in Las Vegas yeah so I don't know I just feel like she moved too fast but I mean, this guy might be a good prospective boyfriend for her, but definitely needs to take her time mm -hmm. and stuff. But I'm glad she's away from Nate. Oh, and Nate, Nate's life, he seems totally unbothered. He's not thinking about her. <laughs> but when they broke up, Michaela made like a couple of videos about how she feels about the breakup and stuff. And she was clearly hurt he's clearly not so i'm glad she's away from that because clearly she cared more if, if he did care she cared more mm -hmm. he could move on real quick but i am convinced that he didn't care and he don't care and he's fine so yeah i'm glad that she is able to like hang out with people who's like helping her not think about him but at the end of the day i feel like she moved too fast mm -hmm. just take it slow and stuff but yeah it's crazy that's how I feel. <coughs> That's how we feel. Yeah. Yep. That's it. Okay. If you guys would like for us to do more videos on how we feel about the YouTubers who's already up there, let us know down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and mm -hmm. we're going to see y'all soon. Stay tuned.